another episode, or should I said another chapter of Tell Me Why, a story-oriented game. We figure out why one of the main characters killed their mother. And let me just get into the game and let's see what this chapter has in store for us. No way. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Interesting. I have referred to themselves as goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Yeah. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. That's pretty the cool animation. They found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Hmm. Oh yeah, last time. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> oh, sure another flashback. <laughs> Damn, she looks uh, done. All right, who wants ice cream? Me. Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly oh, gone. I can actually read a little of that. The final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman. Alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it. Welcome to life. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. Huh. I love you too. It is also very interesting that they refer to her here as mom and later only as Marianne. Even though she did some bad stuff. Bad stuff, I mean, appeared to have tried to kill one of them. It's actually quite interesting. From a story narrative point of view, of course. And damn, is it dark. What a waste. Oh yeah, they have some kind of inner voice thing. Thank you. 
to go for help. Oh, I like that. How they felt, how they decide to do that. And it will switch when she. Changes into him when ah, oh, that's actually pretty smart to do that this way. Ah, no, now she changes. I thought that it was uh, when 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 she was out of picture. Okay, but they change into their other selves. That's pretty cool. I thought ah, there you go. I was waiting for something like this. change yes perfect that's a really nice transition Probably. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? Oh. And instead, at least one. Spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. <laughs> nice. Nice reference. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Good. Uh, my numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. Agreed. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do <laughs> this. Nice. <laughs> ah. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff in the bathroom this morning. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vol for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Lasagna! 
finish your salad first. Thank Fair you. enough. Yes, you're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. Um. <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. Oh, another one of the. Uh... What's this doing? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Dog. What to do with this? Uh. Uh, okay. Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I better. seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> That's adorable, actually. Uh huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Oh, what the hell? There you go. Examine. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. Yeah, they're happy memories. So. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but. Don't worry, I get it. But not really. I get it. It's just weird I'm seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Sorry. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. Good decision. That's a good decision. That's their dad? I think. Oh, or? man. I love this one. Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile. Like Alice. Oh, there you go. Come on, honey, smile. There you like go. Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> Crummy table and wobbly chairs. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. So. Oh. Oh, God. That's. What's that smell? You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Oh, 
I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could <laughs> I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. <laughs> Ooh, what's that smell? It smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember ancient appliances. You are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Yeah. Good call. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops. I forgot. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Yes. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. <laughs> I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But yeah, I was no actually shit. thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. Uh -huh. yep. Maybe it'll Better be than trash. with a deep clean? And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. No. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff. And more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. No. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Eh? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still say ah. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Yeah. Maybe someone could clean it up. It's well made. Your call. Yep. Keeping it. And what do you know? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed.
Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Uh, no. That is actually a legit concern. When's mom coming? She'll be here soon. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. Baloney! <laughs> Guess who I found? Baloney! Alley Belly Baloney? Why, well, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. Again. <laughs> third time today. Okay, I can't decide. We should gather up all our old toys and give them to charity. What's that? I said we should give our old toys to charity. Oh. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? So long, trusty bunk beds. Okay. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? Yes. <laughs> hey, did you finish packing up there? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm-hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. For your punishment. Come back before the new moon. You shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. Uh. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And <laughs> she was all in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone. 
but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. Connecting something. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. So it has to be him. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there. Lurking. You done? But it's right. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. All right, I think I'm done. You should. Yeah, it makes the most sense. Yes. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. <laughs> Indubitably. Nice. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. Eh? <gasps> what's... What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! Oh. That is creepy. I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison. Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. I don't think so. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins! I ran into Chief Brown who said you were 
starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. <laughs> there you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good. Yeah. He's trying. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Oh, well, uh, it's fine. Thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair, right. fair. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. That's we'll very fair. You. Probably it. Way all the technology. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. <clears throat> door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. At least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. All right, that fuse box is not gonna fix itself. All right, fuses go into plugs. Should. Uh. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but <laughs> that's a lot of work for an old door. Uh, that. Uh, let's try this one.
Let's try 50 and then... Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit! Oh. What happened? Wait, Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? I have to move for the garage, total up to 120. Okay, I need 120. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, seems to be working just fine. Problem must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's 30. A bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey. Sixty. Sam likes to feel fancy. Ninety. This is a uh, fifteen. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before? Damn it. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, 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 I, I was wrong. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Just give it a 30, it's fine. And I'm careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. <laughs> That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Uh. Uh. Uh, there's mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? <laughs> hey now, watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm-hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it, too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. And oil in the spring. Linseed? Hell no. That stuff's a hatch okay. the mold. Okay, hold on. I have to... Go quickly. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Eek is what you want. A little silver bit. It needs to be forced back onto the brass. Oh. Get frustrated. Try again. Okay.
Ah, okay. That should be right. Nope. Hmm? Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Bye. You probably... Probably gave her the gun. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Something got to him. Well, something about it really got to him. I don't... Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made toilet paper tubes. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fire... What are we gonna do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Hey there, little buddy. <laughs> I take it much as you want. Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Oh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. Yeah. Okay. What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. the memory. Come on, it's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. Okay. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. He 
here. I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne... <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Oh, what? Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory is a tricky thing. Wait. When did yeah. that happen? I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? I think I have a pretty good idea what happened. He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you. But that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't Accurate. see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? I saw. Get out. I know you do your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. Right now. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Fair enough. Fair enough. Through this deep forest. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I don't think that is gloating. Yeah, J just a sec. I'm parking the car. What is it? Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. No. Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hon, this 
guy is very motivated. But I know he's looking at other properties. Not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Oh. Did I mention Jim's suspicious. Cash offer? Let's do it. Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and uh, send you the details. Later, hon. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before. So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show so him the soon. house day after tomorrow. Something about that oh. seems suspicious. Great. Apparently he'd be paying I don't know cash, what. but he's just in town for a few days, so. Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. That is true. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. <sighs> So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! True. You just don't have to rub it in! I mean... I You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out. Uncle Eddie warned me about this, but I didn't listen. Oh yeah? What did Uncle Eddie have to say? Just that we've led pretty different lives. We might not really see eye to eye like we used to. Ah, I see. Chief Brown said you shouldn't trust me, so you don't. Got it. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. <laughs> That's accurate. You know what I mean, Ty. Do you? Okay. Hey, you feeling this? Okay, now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay. And don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. Interesting. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. <laughs> because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Fair enough. It's a start.
Now if you just could walk a little faster. That would be lovely. Hey, look what I found. What do you want? Can I skip it? Oh, hey. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. What did you do? Show it. So, what's the plan? What is the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Calmly. Let's try to. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna out. go this easy. Okay. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes. I got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... That's cool. I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information, too, then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson? Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with That's me That's bullshit. What's that look for? What? Then I guess the laws are different in different countries. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? 
What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, now's not the best time. <laughs> well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, yeah. I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. Not I'm everything. Get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course. Mm. Where were we? We get the truth uh, ourselves. He's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at night. I was already running by... Oh. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency. Lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must okay. be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah. Okay. Act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Okay. Stay to give a statement. Um, hey, been meaning to say, to Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Well, what's your usual working hours? Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, really appreciate you coming. They were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. That's awesome. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. What's up? So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh yeah, but I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Well, Brown? and why are you looking really? to me in the back mm -hmm. like that? We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. <laughs> wow, way to go Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? Well, I studied to be a park ranger, and I'm hoping to do a tour in Denali. Hey, you know, I have a cousin who works in Yosemite. If Denali doesn't work out, I could see if they have any openings for you. <laughs> You'd do that? Of course. As long as you don't make me sorry I offered. Thanks, <laughs> Denise. That'd be amazing. See you. See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Could you go through the full details of your morning with me? Ah, there you go. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, 
Really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Um... Let's do it. I have nothing. Oh, whoops. Tyler. Alright, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Now? Uh, yeah, gotta get going. Where's Allison? Bathroom. Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. office looks like this is where brown keeps all his personal mail if eddie catches us you applied to a summer drama program back in 2009 i did but they rejected me michael and i were supposed to go together he went but i was stuck here for why is brown on a first name basis with the director of fireweed oh what'd you find it's an invoice Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Yeah. Huh, the Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. Oh, personnel files, department. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh, Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Open. Let's... Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. 
Oh, yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. I don't get it. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Let's put the veggies yes. next to... Can you not? Okay, this is not here. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but maybe there's something in Eddie's office. <sighs> Fine. How old is Brown? 38. Huh? Wow. Graduated really young. Officer to ever join the DCPD. <laughs> okay, I got everything. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Oh, yeah, the community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Yeah. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his- Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't- I don't know. But there's a reference number. R6, huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. What the What if the That word was before oh, great Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> It's obviously zero one six four in some capacity. Uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm back. Uh, the first two seem to be right. Yes. 
Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Uh. Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Re nope. Here we go. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the invested. Well? So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Alright, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan? March 1st, 2005? He's not a writer, Tyler. Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are also you? Also pretty sure that does not work like this in real We're life. Home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. Alright, honey, can you give me your address? T 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Here. Think of. Got something. Okay. I need to check out 0501COM. Not this one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well. Zero five zero. No, nope. You finding anything? Not this one either. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, here it is. I ran past it. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne to child services. What do you Damn. Mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just Reference. Thank you. 
Just the f shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? I'm coming out. No, you're not. He'll see you. Tell him you need to talk in his office. Here. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Okay. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. References. To check out 2005201546. This one. Here we go. Man, I have to. This is really like paperwork. Wait, what the hell? There's a huge amount of child neglect. Okay. That is interesting. Child neglect. That's. Oh, that's. This is getting interesting. Okay, fair enough. References. Hot order. There you go. Zero five. Zero five. R sixty three. Three twenty five. No, that's not it. Well. Zero five. There. There. That's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. So. What else can I do? Jess's name came up. Search for her. Hospital discharge. R68 MISC. S68 there. Uh, nope. Here it is. There you go. Let's see. What do you got? Huh. 
Why is that here? That is interesting. Something more going on. What? I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey. Get off me. Rather spend the night here? Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky your family. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you want to talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Spending? Everyone was struggling. Not surprising. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? That's actually a good question. The truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Uh, just like that. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. He's not wrong. I've asked myself over and over for the past ten years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. All right.
right. I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Willing to try. Group hug? Uh, no. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, that's right, buddy. All right, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? All right. That went better than I was afraid it would. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Nothing? We're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. <laughs> she did tell bad. Probably didn't intentionally did that. Yeah, sometimes life is like this. Fucked up. Where is everybody? Good Tessa's question. Gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was I'm assuming it's not that easy, right? Come in! I grabbed my odd six from the truck and set my sights. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I- Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with. Would it? No. Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. 
Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Huh. Okay. That is interesting. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Hmm. But look, I... This is gonna be a plot oh. twist in chapter three, isn't it? Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Is hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Let's move on. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I... I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, yeah. we don't have to visit her grave. Yeah, we I'm do. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. 
Where'd that question about our father come from? Oh, I don't know. It was a weird thing to ask, I guess. Not really. It's a legit question. Alright, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? These are just that good, huh? I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Cheddar dip? Ugh, yuck. <laughs> Your sister loves that shit. She eats it straight out of the jar. Ugh, God. Processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. Oh, there. Oh. Hold on. Let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? There's room for improvement. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Don't make me cold feel Tyler. bad, because you can't. Ice cold. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Yes. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Uh, okay. Okay. Why am I standing here looking at this? Where are these plushies things? You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. 
It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Oh, okay. Not too far from the restaurant door. Okay. Here. So... Uh... Oh, this is bad. Six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say eleven. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh, damn it. Oh, right in the face. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. <laughs> gotcha. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. <laughs> gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, the supplier made a typo on Becky. We can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Damn, overshot it. Damn, overshot it. Yo, we better wrap this up soon. Damn, overshot it. Come on. Damn, overshot it. Hey, you know I only need one more hit to win, right? Yeah, yeah, less talking, more tossing. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. I, win. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Is that the mangy muskrat?
Sit down. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or...? Nah, but same clan. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent. But it doesn't really matter. Vote for him's a vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. Not a big fan. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. That's fucked. Jesus, that's fucked. Oh, Jesus has nothing to do with that, trust me. Being religious doesn't mean you gotta weaponize your religion against other people. That's Thank you. Yeah, I hear you. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about yeah, that. Yeah, uh, he's not wrong. All right. All right. And I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, <laughs> our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed. Your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah. Uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty alright. You're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. It pulled me out of a dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Thank you for that, but I think you might be looking for something I'm not right now. Oh shit, did I make this awkward? No, no you didn't, don't worry. I I'm just all over the place right now. Of course, yeah I get it, so sorry about that. It's really fine. I I appreciate the compliment, though. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. Yes. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. 
It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> oh! Alright. Technically you can. Tessa should be at her parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Understandable. After, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Are back that way. Not too bad. So, did you ever come back? Keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. Her mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we were... This might take a while. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Mr. Eagle? Kids. It's time. Ah, oh, no, I'm not interested. fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? And we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. So ready to put Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. 
Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound <laughs> me. Deeply. No, you're not. So, can I help you guys out somehow? Uh, yes. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. You bet. Yeah, I'd go. There. Let's move on with the story. It's fine. So, how are you, um... Old enough. Everything's Not great. such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never Open. mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at her. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going! Allison, come back! Only a few steps in, and I'm already starting to... <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to go visit that much. Yeah, me <laughs> too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did, watch. This spot's familiar. <laughs> Why is she crying? Man, I forgot how hard Marion took it when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her dad had kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Huh. Ty. No dice. Not hers. Where is she? Sixty-four. Uh, forty... Sixty-four, eh? Interesting. Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? Sometimes life is just uh, do it all alone. <laughs> messy. So that, that is the way it is. Tessa? Kids. I... I, I wasn't expecting to see... What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? She does, doesn't she?
When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa! All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Could have done better. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I prayed for guidance, and seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. You did. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Yay, free lunch. There gonna nice. Be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. There. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. You wanna sit down for a bit? Nope. I think we could both use a break. Come on, why force me? 
I want to end this chapter. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Well, yeah, I guess it's kind of gone off the rails, huh? That again. Oh. You mean how we kind of turned Delos Crossing upside down and shook out all its nasty secrets? I don't yeah, doubt it's all of them. At least now we know what really happened. I can't thank you Do enough, we? by the way. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You needed time to heal. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, all right? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Something is still Dallas. missing. I mean, there's one chapter left. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. Thank you, something is missing. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. Probably always gonna feel that way. And still going. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Um, shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. This is not good. This is not good. Stay there. I got it. Who was that? Someone we know or someone we don't? Probably someone we know, but who? And that was fast. If that kind of fire would dig what happened? that low. There, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. 
but I'm going to find out. He went looking under the rug? Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah, what the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm, where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. Or chickens. Did he really have to smash everything? He really turned this place upside down. This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Robo, please. I guess we know how he made the hole. Yes. What is in that? There's something there. Step back. I'll be fine. The box. What could be in the box? Information about their father, maybe? That's the only thing that makes well, sense. I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Hold on. Okay. That did it. Fuck. That's rough. This this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Hmm. That's everything. What the hell? So Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. And a decade later, some guy comes along, trashes the barn, and tries to destroy the box. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. At least he left us the Junker. Eh? Asshole even dumped the drawers. Huh. At least you were spared. would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah, that must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Some kind 
a work boot. Would it be fishing boots? Here that night? In the woods? No. It was just. I, I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? That answers the question. But let's just go inside. Probably can, but that's worth a shot, right? 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 Just like we left it. Nothing's been forced open. So he didn't try to get into the house at all. was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? There you are. Man, this... Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. After what I did for you? You're really gonna say no to this? Well, no, but... I just can't keep doing this. Every time we think we understand, something new pops up. This might be our only shot to figure out who our father is. Who gives a shit about that asshole? I have a father, and I almost lost him because you won't stop. Don't blame me because Chief Brown fucked Marianne over. We need to know the truth. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. I'll do it. Let's go. We can do it. Ouch! Watch it! You 
They're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. I don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. I told you, I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll... I'll try. I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Yeah, figured. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. Ah, that's what happened. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? That was chapter 2, ending? Damn. Well. This, uh... That was interesting. And, uh, that was interesting. And chapter 3, where we find out what actually happened. Good day.